Financial accountability is extremely important, and we owe that to the people of God. Monsignor Charles Pope, pastor of Holy Comforter St. Cyprian Roman Catholic Church in Washington, D.C., says the parish has rigorous safeguards in place for financial transparency and accountability. It's the people's money, and so <laughs> I'm intentionally kept out of the loop as, as is proper. It can be exhilarating at times. No one would think that numbers are exhilarating. Bill Brousseau is a member of the Parish Finance Council at Holy Comforter St. Cyprian. He says serving on that council has brought him closer to his parish community. And it gets interesting because you never realize how many moving parts there are in a parish. Pope says the Parish Finance Council, a committee that oversees the financial resources and spending at a parish, is a crucial safeguard. I think that I believe very strongly in the Finance Council because, uh, again, they bring experience, but also they represent the people and they keep me and others on the staff accountable for how we spend the money. Pope says despite challenges from the pandemic, including suspended public masses, giving at the parish has remained stable. I am so amazed at how generous and good God's people are when it comes to taking care of their parish. Canon lawyer and Monsignor Bill King explains parish finance councils are actually mandated in canon law. It's one of the financial, financial or fiscal controls that the code of canon law imposes on pastors as administrators of temporal goods. It's an exercise of proper stewardship, Brousseau said the Finance Council has a wide range of responsibilities, including building maintenance and pandemic safety supplies. It's from everything from mowing the lawn to making sure everything is functioning, functioning at a high level here at the parish. Brousseau says he has come to see serving on the Finance Council as a calling. And I became really invested in a parish in a way that I hadn't previously. He encourages others to join their parish finance councils. If you ever ask, join the finance council. It's, it's, actually, it's actually a ministry, and we consider it a ministry, and we approach it as a ministry. Kate Scanlon, EWTN News, In Depth.